All right, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you five things that you should know for your upcoming Sturgis trip. Let's check it out. What's going on, YouTube? BK Low is back in the building. And I figure now that I'm on the tail end of my second Sturgis trip, now is a good time to uh, make a video that's been requested by a couple folks, which is just a couple general things to know if you're planning on going to Sturgis. So yeah, here we go. Thing number one for your upcoming Sturgis trip is book early. The earlier you book, the better, because things start to fill up around here really fast. And I'm not just talking like around Sturgis itself, I'm talking in the entire Black Hills. It fills up really quick, so you really need to plan as early as possible, book as early as possible. For all the spots that we've had, I started booking them back in December. And even with that, and even with that, while I was booking, places were already starting to be booked out. So you really gotta book as early as possible to make sure that you're getting a spot for your Sturgis trip. Okay, so thing number two, and um, this one is really important. I remember back before I came to Sturgis, my preconceived notion of what it was weather-wise and temperature-wise was like 100 degrees all the time, desert-like conditions. That's what I thought Sturgis was like because of all the pictures I would see and everything, that's what I would see. It turns out it's actually not like that. So yes, does it get hot at times? Sure. Has there been years where it's been like that? Like really hot the entire time? Yes. But in the in the two times that I've gone, if I'm wearing a t-shirt, I'm usually regretting it. For a couple reasons. It gets really cold at night, it gets cold in the morning, and even during the day, we've had a couple days here where, you know, say we're in like Hill City or whatever, where the high of the day is like 75 degrees. Now with wind chill, that gets pretty chilly on a bike. And not just that, but also the weather is extremely unpredictable out here. Meaning like right now the sun's out and everything, but I know that come in a couple hours, the sky is gonna open up and we're gonna get some serious rain out here in Custer. And it's not just rain, it's hail, floods, all types of different stuff. So when you come out here, you really have to come prepared for every type of weather. So I remember the big mistake that I made my first trip when I came out here is I dressed for really hot temperatures. I think I brought like a denim jacket, maybe a flannel, you know, nothing too heavy. And then when I got out here, I was like, oh wow, it's really cold. Yeah, so that's my, that's my second tip, is just come out here prepared for every type of weather imaginable. And you know, the best way to do that is, you know, obviously make sure you have rain gear, make sure you have a substantial jacket. For me, it was the, uh, for me, it was the Raider that I used a lot during this uh, particular trip. And a uh, full face, you know, that helps out for, you know, when there's heavy rain or obviously when there's hail. So, you know, like I said, just be mindful that the weather changes really fast out here.
Okay, so tip number three for your upcoming Sturgis trip. And this is me personally, some people will probably disagree with me on this. But this tip is you want to book your trip so that you are there for a good amount of time before the rally even starts. Now, I say this for a number of, of reasons. One reason is once the rally hits, it is absolute chaos. And you have just crazy amount of congestion and all the good rides, such as Iron Mountain, Needles, all the rides that everyone wants to do get really, really congested. And you're uh, more than likely gonna get stuck behind a trike or a RV or something. So what you wanna do is get out here, you know, say even a week before the rally, so you could actually enjoy all the rides that are around here, you know, at a reasonable speed without having to deal with like any traffic, congestion, or varied riding skills. You know, another good reason to get out here before the rally starts is is, you know, especially if you're um, putting in the miles that we did to get out here and like say you want to get the oils changed or whatever, it's a lot easier to get that done or get a service done before the rally actually starts than it is when the rally is going. And then finally, once the rally hits, everything changes in terms of like prices. So all restaurant prices are going to go up significantly. All menus get cut. So I, like for example, there was one spot we were really excited to eat at and then like, you know, we went there and literally they cut down the menu to like a quarter of what it was, took some of the big ticket items off, you know. So I think to really experience the Black Hills, you got to get here a little bit early. But that's, that's, um, that's really your call. You know, some people are in it because they just want to go to the rally and hang out on Main Street. You know, if that's your deal, then, you know, get here the first day of the rally. Me personally, I like these trips and I like coming out here for the riding. Like the riding is what is what does it for me. At Main Street, I could take it or leave it. All right, so tip number four, and this is more in terms of when you book a place. And again, this is just my personal preference and my personal experience, but when we book spots out here, we book them 50 miles or more outside of Sturgis. Everywhere around Sturgis, A, gets booked up really early and also gets really expensive, and then also you're in the middle of the chaos. If you book like 50 miles out, like, you know, we stayed a couple nights in Hill City, we stayed a couple nights in, uh, in Custer, we stayed a couple nights in Hewlett, that was like almost 100 miles out. You know, the prices in booking were pretty reasonable. You know, no, we didn't have to kill ourselves to stay out here. And also, it's like nice to kind of be away from the rally, like when you want to turn the party off, you know? If you stay in Sturgis, well, it's just nonstop non-stop party non-stop chaos and again maybe that's what you want so again this is just my personal preference but to save that money to get a better spot my recommendation is don't actually book lodging in Sturgis book 50 miles or so out all right so tip number five and this is Wait until you're about to leave to start buying to start buying rally gear. And there's a couple reasons why I say this. Number one, pretty much everywhere you go, people are gonna be selling rally gear. So if you kinda like buy the first thing you see, well you're gonna see like 200 other designs for your for for the rally. So you know you might kick yourself for not getting a certain t-shirt or a certain sticker or whatever so I usually like to wait till the end to start buying like t-shirts or anything 
for when I've seen everything and then I decide, all right, I really like this design over at this booth, I'm gonna grab this. So don't just like jump on the first gear you see, really check everything out before you jump on anything. That's my advice. And also with the, in regards to rally gear, if you find yourself, if you book your trip so that you're hanging out after the rally, prices on all that gear goes down. So you could definitely save yourself some money on a lot of that stuff just by being around after the rally. We're usually hitting it like about a week before the rally hits and then leaving um, a couple days into the rally. So we're not here for that time, but I've definitely heard of people saving a lot of money. Alright, so those are my five little tips for your upcoming Sturgis trip. It's definitely not all, but it's uh, five that I think are pretty important. I hope this was helpful and uh, you know, if you're someone who thinks they're going out there for maybe Sturgis 2020, let me know. Always interested to see who's making the trip. And yeah, man, as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there and stay low. And BK Low is out.